And uh, there it is, Soyuz MS-06 back on Earth. The official touchdown time was 8.31 p.m. Central Time, right on the dot, right on the money. Chairs nearby the spacecraft uh, for a short period of time. And you're looking at one of the uh, search and recovery helicopters landing nearby the Soyuz MS-06. You can see in this uh, live view from uh, an all-terrain vehicle at the landing site in uh, south-central Kazakhstan, uh, some of the uh, RSC Energia technical personnel And now uh, the all-terrain vehicles are repositioned uh, close uh, to the uh, descent module, a great view. ...side of the uh, Soyuz vehicle uh, through which uh, the crew will be extracted a short time from now. Crew. ...there or whether they'll go back to Karaganda where the uh, GCTC and NASA planes are. I expect to find out shortly, but last word, the nominal plan is going to be to have the crew go to just as gone. And it looks like there we go, our first crew member out. Looks like we got Ms. Erkin coming down the slide first. And so with that, our, our center seater, our Soyuz commander is out. He's going to get carried over now. They have the Stairs set up already, just a few feet away. Gulfstream jet will be relocating to Jezkazgan from Karaganda. They've just received approval to do that as we look at Alexander. All right, Dan, have a safe trip home. Uh, Dan Hewitt, NASA Public Affairs Officer with the uh, Search and Recovery Forces in Kazakhstan. Joe Acaba out of the uh, Soyuz spacecraft, uh, having completed his third flight into space and a total of 306 days in space. Once again, uh, views of uh, Joe Acaba, Mark Vandehei, Alexander Mazurkin at the landing site uh, being attended to by their flight surgeons and uh, NASA nurses. A journey of 71.1 million miles at an end. Alexander Mazurkin, the Soyuz commander, right uh, in the field of view.